trickiest thing for us has been like, uh, you know, it's like the monitor sets are pretty short. Yeah. You know, so it's like figuring out what you want to do in an hour, you know. We do, we have an easier time when it's like two hours. And yeah. You get everything in, you know, everybody sings in the bands, lots of different types of songs. So, you know, what do you present? What do you got? An hour or a half hour. I got to meet Ben Folds. Okay, right. I love Ben Folds, and I got to meet him at a couple monitors ago. I have a memorable, yeah, I have a ben very Folds. memorable story for you. Um, right. When we played in 2005, we, uh, we showed up. It was Thursday night. We oh, showed yes. up. Yeah, we were. Uh, we had our set list in hand. We were like so excited. We hadn't even done that many festivals at that point, right? Um, we show up and uh, we get to our stage, right? We're just doing all good. Um, and the band, what was the band called that was playing before us? Rose Hill Drive. Rose Hill Drive was playing. And they, they were, kind of were like a Zeppelin power trio. Yeah, they had a really good rock vibe. And they were like, all right, we got time for one more song. And they launch into the Immigrant Song by Led Zeppelin. Um, of course, on our set list, our big moment was our cover of the Immigrant Song. And so we're like, we're like, literally like about to go set up our gear, and we're just sitting there scratching songs. Like, oh, and then if we move that song, we got to move this song. And it was like, it was a whole moment. Um, but it actually turned out to be a really good, memorable set, even without our cover. Did you what you replace it with? I don't even remember. We did all originals. Yeah, we, we just, just were like, we'll just do all originals. Yeah. Okay. We changed the game for you. Yeah. <laughs> Josh Clark sat in. Yeah. Oh man, I bet did, that yeah. was incredible. Yeah, we did uh, Walls of Jericho with Josh. Life, it was easy when we were young. We just like, you know, you just have like endless energy, and you're not committed to anything. But as your relationship, so I think Halo is really trying to find a structure that is on a sort of long-term growth plan, where it's sort of like the tortoise and the hare. You know, it's like slow and steady will win the race. You know, and so it's like we we're very. Uh, you know, we're sort of very aware of like, okay, like we're not gonna do 150 dates every year, you know, because uh, that, because we did that, and that was, you know, led to certain things. But it's like, so we're just very sort of calculated with our energy, much like when you're a kid and it's like you can just run. It's like I'd run the mile when I was in high school, and I'd just like run as fast as I could, you know, and I'd be like kind of sick from it. Now I can run the mile, but very like, but I'm like, I don't have to feel like I have to push it. You know, I just think it might be the difference. Uh, I appreciate it guys, thanks so yeah. much. You guys have a 